Hi, uh, my name's Oliver Wheeler and I'm a sales engineer at Barracuda Networks. Um, public speaking is not my forte, so see how it goes. So um, what I want to do is talk to you briefly about Barracuda Networks. Uh, hopefully some or all of you are familiar with the brand. Uh, we've attempted to make brand awareness one of our marketing strategies. We have billboards in a lot of airports, Heathrow and Munich and several in the States. Um, and we also sponsor a number of uh, number of events. You'll probably see us uh, at the uh, sidelines of most Premier League matches. We've got the little wrapper around the edge. Um, and so we've <coughs> attempted to make brand awareness our, our sort of main, main focus. So um, Barracuda strategy is to simplify IT. This is the, our core uh, vision, if you like, to make sure that the managers of IT networks can put the boxes in and then forget about them. If a customer, if you go to renew our boxes and uh, a customer turns around and says, oh, I forgot I had it, well, that's what we're attempting to do. Putting an anti-spam box in and, and forgetting about it is, is what our business was built on. And taking that further, we're looking to make our business uh, uh, broader with a vast portfolio of products. So the, the disruptive business model that we're attempting to provide here gives us a strong brand, um, like I mentioned, uh, and then we can then use that to leverage uh, our resellers to go after a larger customer install base. Um, we have a fantastic growth, 30% um, year on year um, for the last few years. Um, and so this is something that we're looking to develop with our, our resellers in Ireland. The efficient operations part of this wheel allows us to quickly uh, identify customers, get a box to them, get them, get, 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 get them trialing the appliance, either an appliance or a virtual or in the cloud, um, and then uh, proceed through the sales cycle and then sell the box. Our typical sales cycle lasts 22 days. And so this is ideally we're looking for a fast turnaround on on taking a customer from a lead to a sold product. The proactive customer care element of this is our award-winning support. So we've won support, we've won the SCE's um, magazine support uh, award for the last four or five years, I think, on the trot. Uh, and so this is something that we've prided ourselves on and want to make sure that we are going to continue to deliver. Um, the high subscription uh, uh, re re uh, revenue is uh, revolves around renewals so our renewals rate is a, uh, around about 97 percent and so once you have a customer on a barricade box it's really easy to maintain them and then once you've got them it's then really easy to uh, expand because barricade have a, a, a wide portfolio of products which i'll dig into in a minute and going back to the, 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 the last element of this, the products are designed to be easy to use. Um, we don't necessarily need an engineer to go to sites to do an install. These boxes are designed to be shipped out, um, relatively hands-off in terms of making sure that the boxes are up and running for the mid-market. However, of course, we do have, like myself, sales engineers in the field who are more than happy to go out on site to do an install for any larger customers who require it. So if you have a larger project, say so, and we can make resources available to travel in the field to make sure that, you, that the products stick. We have a very high stick rate. So one of the interesting things about the Barracuda uh, appliances is that when they go out the door, as long as they're qualified correctly, when they go out the door, the stick rate is in the uh, high 80s to low 90s. So there's not a lot of return uh, during a demo cycle. They buy the box that they test. The sales model essentially uh, is two-sided, so essentially we have a, uh, a partner-driven lead section where partners provide us with around about 50% <coughs> of, our, of, our, of our lead generation, and then we provide the other half back into the channel. So there's a, a really good dynamic here of, of customers who bring us leads and then we bring the leads back, sorry, uh, resellers who bring us leads and then we bring the leads back to the resellers to ensure that everybody grows their business. Um, we have our own lead development team in-house, uh, that's recently been uh, expanded heavily. Uh, around uh, January this year, we hired another six people in our lead in our uh, in-house lead development team. So that's so that is really taking taking shape. Um, we have our own 
internal uh, sales team, um, Ryan Cook and, and, and Luke comes in out of the office, uh, ensure that our, and, and another two heads to be, to be recruited, um, are looking to ensure that uh, customers are well handled during their sales cycle. And then as soon as they are ready to, ready to buy, uh, we engage with, 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 with the partners, um, either at the time or preferably ahead of time. So the, so the partners are ready to, ready to sort of leap in and, 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 and offer their own support um, and their own value add. Um, so why Barracuda wins? The products are easy to use. Like I said, we can put the box in, and there's no there's there's, there's no kind of issues with us not making the box work. Um, we have a, a large technical team inside Barracuda's uh, UK office and the um, and across the globe. There are we're, we're, the company is 1,500 people strong. Around about seven to eight hundred of them are engineers based across the globe. So we have engineering teams in California, in uh, in, in Michigan, uh, in uh, in the UK, in in Nottingham, in uh, Innsbruck, in Austria, uh, and, and continuing on uh, for the various por- uh, products in our portfolio. Um, it's easy to buy. So what we find is that we don't have to spend half a day making a making a. a a PO with 50 line items, there's one line item for the box and then one or two line items for the, for, for, for the, uh, for the sub- sub- subscriptions, and that's it. There's no, there's no other line items you have to worry about. There's no kind of per feature fees, there's no per user fees. It's really easy to put it to, to get the box shipped and the customer to buy the box. Um, and the support is very, very good. So uh, a little bit of numbers here. Um, so this is IDC, uh, this is t- t- uh, 2014, but um, what this shows is the uh, tracker for the purpose-built backup appliance market. So vendors who ship boxes to do backup. Um, and right out of the gate, um, we are the largest vendor in that, in that uh, mix by a very, very long way. In fact, we are, um, I'm led to understand by the numbers, um, that we are the, la- the, the largest of the next three or four combined. Um, I don't know whether that's entirely true, but it's what marketing people tell me. Um, but it's not just backup we're in, we're also in the content security space. We'll talk more about the products in, uh, specifically in a second, but this is the content security tracker. So again, we're, we're, sh- we're shipping more boxes than Cisco or Sophos or Bluecoat or Symantec uh, or even McAfee to ensure that you know that we have a large a large install base of these of these appliances, and it's not just this is the content security one. We've also got the message security. This is the anti-spam appliances. This is what we what we're known for. This is our first product back in two thousand and three. Um, so it's not a huge surprise that we're out, out in front. Um, and again, um, we're selling more boxes than, than Cisco or Symantec. Um, we're aiming for the mid market here. So our success strategy is aiming for a portion of the market in the sort of 500 to three-ish thousand user mark. That's our sweet spot. Uh, if you find customers in that, in, in that area, more than likely they could use one of our boxes. Um, looking at that a bit, a bit more directly uh, in terms of Gartner Magic Quadrants, uh, you'll find that um, in nearly all the cases we're about in the middle. Um, Gartner uh, aim, for the, uh, aim for the enterprise. So organizations of 10,000 user, 10, user plus uh, environments, um, that's great, but that was never our sweet spot. Uh, so we're not aiming for the top right uh, corner, that's where you'll find the, the enterprise class solutions. Not that we're not, but that's where they're aiming for. We're aiming for about in the middle, and that's approximately where we've got to uh, with most of our products. Um, I think we'd like to be in the, in, in the bottom left of the top right quadrant. Um, but you can see the various quadrants that we sit in, and this isn't all of them, this is just the, the main ones that we have, that we have products um, sat in. And it's not just appliances that we ship, it's also virtual appliances, and it's not just in uh, virtual appliances, it's also in public cloud. So we have appliances uh, that can be spun up inside Microsoft Azure, we're Microsoft's number one ISV for public cloud. We can also replicate all those appliances into, uh, into Amazon Web Services. You've already heard that a lot of uh, uh, customers are driving towards cloud, and the question is, how do you secure it? So we've mentioned that you, that, you know, that you, the customers are tracking their, their, their solutions, their environments into the cloud uh, without a huge amount of thought for necessarily how they're going to protect them. We can do that for you. Um, and again, of course, with vCloud Air, but that's a, 
a small market share in comparison. Um, and it's not just uh, public cloud, we also have our own cloud that we can deploy. We have uh, the email security service, we have backup in the cloud, so email, email security services, anti-spam, cloud to cloud. Backup, we have the ability to back up public cloud. So, and in, in fact, not just public cloud, but also Office 365. So we can dig into Office 365 and back up things like all your emails. We can back up OneDrive, which is very, very useful for business as they move towards Office 365, as most of them are. You're gonna find that backing up Office 365, Office backing up OneDrive may become more apparent. Um, and then also email archiving in the cloud. Barracuda's focus, going from our, our historical view of, of using um, uh, uh, spam boxes, we're looking to sell three kingpins here, uh, our primitive firewalling, public cloud, and, and backup. And then behind that, we have the relevant products in those, in, in, in those various portfolios. And so with all of that, Barracuda brings all the elements. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Michael, who's up next?